ping is a method of measuring latency, or the time it takes to send and receive a packet of data between two devices, such as computers, on a network. A simple analogy would be to pretend that the two computers are two people, Dick and Jane. Ping would be the amount of time it takes Dick to say something to Jane and receive a response. The lower the ping time or latency between Dick and Jane, the more effectively they can communicate. As ping times increase, the time intervals between sending and receiving messages will continue to increase until the delays are so long that their communication stops making sense altogether. Low ping times are extremely important in scenarios where the timely delivery of information is more important than the quantity of information that can be delivered. In an online game where two players are competing against each other, for example, the game data, things like player models, maps, and textures, is stored on the individual PC or console of each competitor. In order to play against each other, the only information that needs to be transferred back and forth between the players is simple stuff like the location, bullet trajectory and updates that are being made to objects on the map, such as buildings that have been damaged or destroyed. In contrast to applications like games, services like Netflix are not very dependent on low ping times. In these cases, bandwidth, or the raw amount of data that can be delivered per second, is more important to the quality of the experience. The reason for this is that data is only being sent one way, and large buffers or chunks of the movie that are pre-downloaded on the fly can mask many issues that would be caused by an inconsistent or not very low latency connection. So in short, you can think of ping like the WhatsApp or Twitter of network communication, compact messages that are optimized for quick communication and coordination between devices in real time. Another major contributor to your online experience is jitter, but that's a topic for another video. Hopefully we'll be able to add a link to it at some point here. Speaking of links, head over to audible.com slash techquickie to sign up for Audible's monthly audiobook service. You get one audiobook per month with the subscription and it includes a free one to get you started. Now, why would you want an audiobook, you might ask? Well, I would say, you might want a version of The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien without any extra characters, for example. You can check that out at audible.com slash techwiki. I hope you do find a chance to do that. In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. Share this video if you enjoyed it, like it if you liked it, leave a comment if you have an opinion that simply can't be expressed by sharing or liking something, like, like screaming into the keyboard or posting screamer pictures or links to places that aren't really, I don't know, whatever. The YouTube comments are broken right now. Um, anyway, as always, also don't forget to subscribe to Tech Quickie for more videos like this in our Fast as Possible series, as well as some other exciting stuff that we have coming.